bro. Yeah, I, know, I like that. Perfect. I like that. Nah, okay, because without the core and all that. Perfect. Oh yeah, nah, for sure, for Perfect. sure. It's gonna do that. It's gonna Perfect. do that. It's gonna do that. What we doing? Yes, sir. Hey. We got another one. We got another one, man. Listen, we man, back, this was a long time back. coming. Long time coming, man. I got my guy, my dog in the building. Hey. Real quick, hold on. I don't even want. I don't even want to get in, man. Let's 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 let me just let me just say I gotta set this, the the scene. Yes, sir. Real quick, you feel what I'm saying? I want I want to hear some shit, <laughs> man. You feel me? We always gotta set the scene up first. Let's do it. Why not? What we let's doing? Let's go. Fake love and Listen, man. I want to say welcome. Too good to be Thank you for coming they out. Really love you. Yes, Much sir. appreciated. They they love hey, another one. Listen, man. They can't wait to judge you, body. You and yeah. all you. They don't really love you. Welcome, welcome, so welcome, welcome, die, welcome, die, welcome, die, welcome, die, welcome, yeah. welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. You know what's going on? Yeah. We there. Yeah. Listen, man. It's your guy, Caesar Lee. AKA Kato. AKA you want whatever you want to call me, man. Call me what you want to call me, man. Let's clap it up for me. You yes, dig? Sir. I don't ever give myself the hand clap, so you know, fuck it. Let me give myself the hand clap. You dig today? You dig? And I got my brother, my blood, blood brother. brother. Got a brother in the building. What up, Yes, though? sir. And we back with another one. Most definitely stepping on next. Stepping on next, man. What we got? What we doing this year? Yeah, yeah. We gearing up for 2024. Yes, sir. We in the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn it up. Niggas watching park. All right. And we got a special guest in the building today. You heard? Yes, sir. Listen, man. We doing it a little different today, man. We got a different vibe for y'all today, man. My guy, real busy. So it's all I'm in. You know he on the move. So you know what's going on here. You dig? I got my guy. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? He's been all over the place. BT, Netflix. Yes, sir. Goddamn. My man is on the move. I got my guy, Leland B. Martin, in the building. Hey. You dig? <laughs> Listen, do, man. do your research. Do your research. Do your research. Do your Googles. Do your Googles. For real. Cut the show off right now. Do your Googles. God damn it. <laughs> no. Listen, that, man. Do that shit. Yeah, do Listen, your man. Googles, man. Do your Googles. Let's turn that up, man. Listen, man. One more time. One more time. Listen, it's Piping Up. Welcome to Comic Club Podcast. I am your hostess with the most in season Lee. You know what I'm saying? AKA yeah. Kato, like whatever you want to call me. I got my blood brother, Gutter Rudder in the yes, building. Sir. What up, Gutter Rudder in the building. And like I said, once again, we got a special guest in the building. My guy, Leland B. Martin. Let's keep them class rolling for my guy. What's up, brother? Man, I'm chilling on it, bro. Man, chilling, man. How y'all living? How man, you? I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see you. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I don't want to yeah, look at, like, I mean, we this is a different vibe. I know people that's used to seeing our podcast, they used to seeing us with somebody here, but I know my guy's on the move, but we had to get him on. You got a big situation. You got BT Plus coming out. You feel me? We got Sworn Justice taking yes, before sir. Christmas. Yes, sir. Sworn yes, Justice, no. man. You feel me? Starring my guy. Let's talk about that, man. Let's just get right into it, man. How is it, man? How, how was it shooting this movie, man? Let's, let's talk a little bit about it. Bro, this one was crazy, man. Sure. This one was crazy right here, dog. Literally, like, I, I booked this thing mm -hmm. at the end of November. Okay. We was in uh, Toronto in December. Mm -hmm. And we were there for the whole month, man. And uh, it was a wild ride, dude. It was We shot a whole feature in, like, three weeks. Jeez. So it was fast. Boom, 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 like that. You know how, like, you'll... You'll take some time for some pages on the regular on the regular set, but this is more like one of them Tyler Perry type of things. Yeah, uh, we for sure. And we out for sure. You ain't get it good on that first take. That's it. That's it. It was nothing <laughs> to do. That's crazy. I'm not <laughs> mad at that. that. That's how it go though. You feel me? Yeah. I see. So as far is this a Christmas movie? It's a Christmas movie, but it's not though. Okay. Like, okay. I mean, it's for Christmas. It's set like during the holiday, so we could fit it in during Christmas. Yeah. But it's an action film. Okay. Like it really don't got nothing to do with Christmas, Christmas. Right. Real. They got sure. everything. That's perfect. Because look, we were just <laughs> they call it like talk. they they called it. Nah, go ahead. What are you saying? Nah, go ahead. My bad. No, nah, I was saying they was they was pitching that bitch like uh the um the black diehard. Okay. That's what they right. they calling this thing. It's got like a, a diehard kind of flow to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Except it's just black folk. Yeah, we're I was oh. saying to get them Nicolas Cage vibes. <laughs> like, yeah, you already know. You already know. know. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and I see. And what, what, what's your uh, what is your co-star's name? What's her name, Michelle? So, 
Michelle Morgan, man. We got Clap Michelle, Morgan. Michelle Morgan. We were saying it right, yeah. We, we, we ain't want right. to say, we ain't pronounce her name wrong. We ain't want to say it wrong. We like, hold up, because the spell very unique. Yeah. That's a, and I ain't going to yeah, shout out to her, yeah, man, because that the way that spelled is amazing. Yeah, you I said, let's make that? sure we say it right. Yeah, let's make sure we say that right. I don't want to get her name wrong for sure. I was like, yo, Michelle? Like, what is Yeah, yeah, word, 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 word. So, all right, who else is all right? I see we got we got Vivica Fox in the movie. Clap it up for Vivica. We got Vivica Fox. We got Vivica Fox in that thing. We got um, Preacher Lawson. Okay, yeah, for sure. Preacher Lawson could be a Preacher Lawson. Melissa Ford. Oh man, shout Melissa out to Ford. M Ford, man. You know M Ford. Yeah, yeah. She Melissa running Ford around, man. You already know M Ford. Shout out to M Ford. Well, That's the folks, study, man. man. She's good people. Dude, Michelle man. Morgan, bro. She was the 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 first, I believe, black Emmy winner for daytime TV. Really. Mm. She's historical, man. Yeah, she's in the history books, bro. She's an Emmy winner. Man, that's fire, man. Listen, man, hold on. So that's, let's yeah. let's that's just get crazy. Into this. Hold on. One of your first one of your first features was was an Emmy, right? Wasn't it from Young and the Restless? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the full circle circle moment right there. For man. sure. One of my first my first like co star uh, roles was on the Young and the Restless. Dog, she was on that show at that time, and that's crazy. I had like two words. Show, bro. Yeah, I was about to say you had a small <laughs> role, right? So that was your, that yeah, was your first yeah, role. That yeah. was your first role, basically. No doubt. Yeah, man. I walked her in and I was just like, uh, hey, hey, shut up, old lady. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I said some like little stuff like that. <laughs> she walked in. That was it. That was my role. Word. Next thing you know, man, I'm starring opposite, you know, the the one of the main stars of that show, bro. It's man, full circle, full circle man. moment, man. That's, That's crazy. Amazing, Real bro. quick. Crazy. So you said it took three weeks to shoot this movie. So as far as but I seen you said this was your first action flick. You feel what I'm saying? How was that? Yeah. Bro, it's different, man. It's different. Crazy. Like, it's the most fun you could ever have on a set, bro. Right. Like, just, you know how, like, when you were young and you playing karate? Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. You know, all that type of stuff. It's like that, except you get paid for it as a grown person. You feel me? Yeah. Like, we be over there jumping and falling off, falling on mats off the ledges and stuff yeah. like that. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Be dope. Like, you got stunt doubles. You even see... You see my stunt double in the trailer, dog. Like if you look, hard, <laughs> I, 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 oh, no. I got to check that out. I ain't even peep it though. Over here throwing the punch. Huh? I ain't even peep. I ain't even peep. You had a, a stunt double. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy, man. I, like, like you'll see, you'll see him on the trailers, man. Like I'm throwing a punch or something. The next thing you know, like I'm falling over. And then it ain't me. Like, if you stop it, you'll see it's a whole new dude's face, man. No, hey, that's, that's listen, crazy. How hard is it? Because look, I saw you was bleeding on the one scene, but like mm. filming in the snow gotta be like, damn. Like y'all look like, worse. yeah, like trying to, <laughs> I'm sure it was tough the doing worst. that. Man. Bro, it, like them, uh, the, those Toronto temperatures, man, were like below zero at that particular point, man. <laughs> For sure. Like it was crazy. We had to have heat warmers, thermals. Like I was wearing so much clothes. It was it was ridiculous. Like I don't even I don't know if y'all noticed in the BTS video, like I'm busting out the busting out the suit. Like I'm like 30 yeah. pounds heavier than I am, bro. Cause I got all these thermals on. Now nah, you did right. look you look husky in that drill. What I did notice though, I noticed that Shorty was the gay, like Shorty, I mean uh Michelle was the one that was really catching you was catching wreck too. I see you getting some action in there. But I see Michelle yeah. out there, she gun <laughs> like, and all that. Yeah, she was kicking there. ass. She was out there rocking <laughs> out. <laughs> She bought that life in this movie, bro. She kicking ass and she taking names no problem. Man, you know, that's amazing, man. So, I, would you would you say this is basically no. like, um, I, I've seen. I think Viva could say something like women empowerment a little bit, like something like that. More so, just like no. just showing, no. you know, I you know I'll be uh tiptoeing around the word strong with the women. You know, you can't be saying that too much. You feel I'll be tiptoeing yeah. around that. You feel what I'm saying? You can't say a lot of stuff. You can't say a lot of stuff. But, but it showed it show basically. I can't even say. Bro. Yeah, for you, sure. Getting, yeah, yeah, we ain't messing. We ain't. Canceled. You know, I promise you. I, I said it before <laughs> I even got into this, right? I said, yo, I'm gonna make sure we don't say nothing to get my man canceled. You feel what I'm saying? We are gonna make <laughs> sure <laughs> ain't nobody being able to no. dig this up. Talk about we well, ever leave and said you know this, that? yo. Exactly. We can't exactly. be having that. We gonna make I'm sure everything I'm goes nice and smooth <laughs> out here today. You dig know what I'm saying? We ain't playing that. Exactly. All right. So now, real quick. No. All right. Working with Vivica yeah. Fox, right? How was that, man? You know, Vivica for us, we was, you know, we was kids. You legend, know what I'm saying? A when legend, a Vivica, goat, a goat, a legend. Shout my mom to Oh <laughs> my God, clap it everything. up for Vivica Fox one time. <laughs> and Melissa Ford, because we weren't getting to Melissa Ford too. You feel me? Like, I know you in a relationship. You in a relationship too, right? I'm in a relationship. Yes, sir. All right, Don't so I can't. Trouble, we, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna go too crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we gonna keep it. We gonna keep it G. You know what I'm saying? It was like being on set with 
with Melissa Ford. Man. Man, I was in the hotel. I was by myself, man. You know what I'm saying? I was being a good boy. I was chilling. There you go. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Right. Man. Exactly. Right. Man. Right. Focus, man. Focus. Man. Yeah, Focus. Tunnel, Focus. tunnel vision. Tunnel, tunnel vision. vision. You can't be playing about that. But yeah, Vivica <laughs> Fox, what was it like working with Vivica? I, I'm sure that was an experience, man. Bro, I, I feel like I'm crossing all the legends off the list, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into all of them, too, Paul. Fox, man. Word. All of these people, bro. Like, it's ridiculous. But Vivica, you catch yourself staring at these people. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yo, I'm just in, in hair and makeup, you know what I mean? Getting my stuff done. Next thing I know, she's just sitting right there. Like, it's nothing. You know what I mean? Getting her hair done, getting her makeup done, all that type of stuff. Just like it's nothing. It's just like... And then you know it's so funny though because all all of them look at me the same way, bro. They 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 give me this and be like, ooh, they give me that up and down. You know what I'm saying? That, first, I'm like, I'm, if this was ten years ago, I would have been jumping all up. Yeah, like, right, 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 for sure, for sure, for and sure. It be, it be getting me because I'm like, yo, that's Vivica Fox. You know what I'm saying? Like, Man. they out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? They be like, ooh, you find this hell. I'm like, girl, what you talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm saying, saying see, sugar, man, I was going to go there with you. Do, you. do you feel like you feel like you're being typecasted right now, my brother? Let's keep it real, man. You feel like they like, yo, they they going to they gonna cast me as the sexy nigga, Pauls, that's going in, is going crazy <laughs> out here. It's like, yo, nah, fuck that. I'm the nigga that, because you know what I mean? Yo. You know, all the, all the older niggas, you know, the Ealys, the motherfucking, they out the door, not yeah. out the door, but they getting older. You yeah, feel yeah, me? It's time yeah, to yeah. usher in the new younger niggas in. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So do you feel like you getting, because I feel like you, every, every, not everyone, but a lot of the scenes you play, they got you in some romance shit off top. You feel what I'm saying? Don't they? For sure. Don't they? Straight up. Hey, you do what you got to do till you do what you want to do. Man, man 100%. <laughs> Come on, man. You talk that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For sure. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, what works works, and if it works, it gets you in the door, right? Word. It gets you it, that. That's what your value is in that particular room. So you sure. just take it for what it is. You can't be mad at it, like yo, I want to play this complex role. I want to play this, this, that, and the third. When they don't know you for that, yeah, right. You sure. go in the room and do what they, or you show out, then you can show them a different side of you. But if you're not in the door in the first place, you can't show them none of that. Yeah, facts, and it's for almost sure. like you know, there's even so like it's it's yeah. even actors with a resume that might be known for like. A face scar or something, and they pick them every time because you, know you got this scar. We like how you look with this scar, so yeah, we need sure. you to play this character every exactly. single time, you know. So it just make perfect you know, sense. So hey, that's what works. Exactly, man. Them cats with those big old names, man. You see, sometimes they play the same role over and over and over again. You got that character face where you look mean. Mm -hmm. You're always gonna be the bad guy. You're always gonna be the villain. You know what I'm saying? Fact. Like you look at an actor like Michael Shannon, yo, he's always playing the bad guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. He's got a much stuff face he just look mean yeah so like you you can't see him as somebody that's trying to like romance a chick you like come on man what's going on yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you got the right yeah man you gotta look right for the role so i understand what they trying to do and i ain't mad at it. yeah but you, you know, know hey, hey but, and i feel like it's also up to you too you feel what i'm saying like you know i, I do this for now like you said but you know i i you put enough work in to be able to say, yo, look, I, I know how to make, move and shake and let people know like what I can do and showcase what I can do. So exactly. that's about, and that's why you're so, so many different types of movies. You feel what I'm saying? And so many different types of shows. And, exactly. And that's the thing though. They they haven't even seen the whole of what I could do, man. I'm a writer. Bro. I was Come about on, to you know ask you, you still like, writing? I, I, I was just about to say, are you still writing? Someone oh, just said that. Uh, bro, I just finished the feature today. Okay. Today. Dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm sending it off to the network tomorrow, dog. All right, so let's let's like we in these back. Let me let me get into this real quick. Um, even with you saying that the writer strike, you feel what I'm saying? How was that working mm -hmm. through that? And I see it's over with now. Let's clap it up for that. The writer strike is over with. You feel what I'm saying? Clap it up for that, yes, sir. How was how was it working through that? You feel me? And um, you know, just what was it like during that time for you? You feel what I'm saying during while that whole situation Man. was going on. Honestly, bro, like it was it was cool for me because I had done so much work up until then. And, you know, I got other businesses and things like that going on. So I was able to focus on some of that other stuff more so than I was able to do so in the past. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. Sometimes it'll be like you'll get like three or four auditions in a week, bro. Them things will come through from here, there and everywhere. And it'd be like eight pages, here, 10 pages, there, six pages here. Right. So I'm constantly going and going and going. And I got so many other things in my life that I have to take care of that. It kind of took away from a lot of things that I wanted to do that I didn't have a chance to do. So when the when the strike happened and there was no auditions going on, mm -hmm. it gave me the opportunity to really tap into my pen, dog. For sure, like big time, For sure. man. I I've re I wrote two pilots and a feature since the uh, since the strike happened. Hey, I'm out here pitching the net right now. 
Hey man, that's what I'm saying. So, so listen, like, hold up real quick. If you if you paying attention, man, listen, my man, right in, he doing all that other shit. Make sure y'all hit him. Yo, know. y'all, he might need a few of y'all. You feel wow. me? So if you if you're talented, you did. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. tap in for sure. And that's the point, man. That's the point. We put we put like my whole goal is to bring it back to the neighborhood to put all that put everybody back on. You feel me? For like sure. I started out back in the day doing doing um 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 you know, web series and stuff like that out, out in, the, in our backyard in Camden. Yeah, right. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Shooting, shooting London web series, shooting, um, Chase you Street. know, a whole bunch of other stuff. That All of that. Yeah, you know for what I'm sure. saying? So we was out there shooting that way, way back in the day. That's when I first started writing. Okay. So I've been writing ever since, man. Really got that pen game, Grizzly. So now I feel like it's way more of an independent wave. I'm more excited about the independent wave, to be honest with you, than nice. I am even the network wave. For sure. All these auditions about to start coming back and stuff like that. And honestly, I'm sitting here like, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, they're they going to come and they're going to go. I'm going to book a role. I'm not going to book a role, whatever, whatever. But, man, I can get out here and I can I can submit roles for myself through networks. You sure. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When it comes to a pen, writing stories that I want to see. You're talking about getting typecast. Well, if you got a pen... And you behind the camera, you mm. producing it. Yeah, you can cast yourself however you want to. Whatever you want to be. Exactly, one hundred. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm. I'm really, I'm really, really focusing on at this point. <clears throat> I'm, I'm out here in Texas, and um, you know that's another thing. Mm. Since COVID and all that, I was able to, to move from Los Angeles to Texas. Okay. That helped me do a whole bunch of different things that I wasn't able to do out there in LA. Okay. And the one thing I was able to do was get involved with a, um, a production company out here. Shout out to Q and Coda Films, man. We out here doing a ton of different things on the independent level, man. Okay. I mean, that's dope, so man. We, we built up. Yeah, hey, y'all can get, up can get y'all can get everything sure. y'all deserve. Y'all don't gotta worry about nobody taking no big pieces of the pie and none of that. For it should sure. be all come on now. Yeah, yeah. You can rock you know, out how you want to rock. Up. Up. You split 50 50 among your people. Hey, for no, sure. Exactly. For sure, for sure. Now I see you doing a lot of work with BT, man. How was that relationship? BT has I'm sure they've been good to you, yeah. man. For sure. Like, you know I mean, how how was that man, working with BT? I, I love BET forever, man. For sure. I will love BET forever. Like, they they show me so much love. They give me, so like, you know, I, I had my first series regular on BET. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they brought me back for Tales, and now I'm doing my first, like, I'm. this is this is really my first TV network lead. Like, I'm a lead character in this. Yeah. I was number two on the, Michelle, like, I was I was over V Fox, Preacher Lawson, Melissa Ford, yeah. all of them. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Above above that, you know what I'm saying? BT give me that type of love at this particular point. So yeah, I love BT for to be honest with you. I, I I like it's crazy. Like even when when I when I'm you know the, working with these huge networks and and I got it popping popping right. Yeah. We going from show to show to network to network blah blah blah. I will forever work with BT. Yeah, see, hey forever man, work with BT. For sure. Come on, man. Now look, does it get tricky? Because look, I know I know I guess. They were at, uh, I guess, Tyler Perry or whoever was trying to buy BET. Mm -hmm. Does it get tricky with, yeah. with whatever uh, whatever shows are coming out? Like, does it change the dynamics of that at all? Or does that all stay the same? Just who owns it, owns it? Nope. Nope. It all changes, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think about it, right? You come into a new house that you own, you're going to spruce it up the way you want to spruce it up. Right, yeah. right. So everybody, they come in, they see what they like, and they say, okay, cool. And then they see what they don't like, and they go ahead and chop that, and they put in what they want. And it's the same way with that. When you have like it, when you have changes in management and ownership and things like that, right. like people's jobs on the line, it's rocky. You know, stuff that might have been greenlit might not be. You know what I mean? The same the same deal with that. You know what I mean? Uh, after the management changes, so like stuff does change over time when they when they switch up the management and it kind of makes it unsettling for a lot of people involved. Word. You could think you got a deal on the table, right? Right. And you you banking on that, but then. Management changes, ownership changes. Your person gets fired. Now you ain't got a you ain't got a, a, a foot in that door. Yeah, no that, that deal is going. That's that's almost like music. Same like same yeah, way as the music same industry, way, right? Same thing. With you know what I'm saying? Exactly you know, with the label, right. label execs, they switch out execs and all that. Then it's time to move right. on. Now that they they had your project album ready, now they want to focus on a different artist. You feel me? Because they came in and switched exactly. it up. So Most definitely, totally understand how that go, man. That's some wild stuff, man. But. Yeah, man. Shout out to BET, yeah, man. BET is going to always be in our hearts, yeah, man. Much love, BET, man. much love to BET. Much love to BET. All right, now. More than that, man. 106 Park. 106 Rap and City, Park, man. man. Rap City, all that, man. <laughs> Comic Listen. view and shit. Yo, for sure, for sure. Hey, yo, hold on. All right, so, Leland, when what made you start acting, bro? Like, because I feel like it kind of, like, for me, just knowing you for so long, it yeah. came out of nowhere. I was like, what the hell? I was like, this ain't on TV right now, bro. Yeah, like, left what's going on? It definitely <laughs> caught me off guard. How did that bro. happen, bro? Man. 
You already know, man. I grew up, I wanted to be a preacher, dog. 100%. That's all I was at, yo, dog. You already when know did Leland yeah, start man. acting? Which, it was I nothing bet. wrong with it, bro. You can still do the look, I mean, it don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. it just threw, I was like, bro, this, I, of course I love, that's what's up. You feel me? Like, yo, you, you was acting, but yeah. it just took me just for a surprise. It just was crazy. No doubt. I feel, yo, it's crazy too, man. I think about you especially because I feel like I was the mace to your camp. Man. Word, 100%. Like, we nigga, was running you ain't think we ain't outside no more? No, listen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm like, yo, this thing, I see this man on TV. Yo, that's nowhere, the perfect bro. example, though. Word, it's just word, kids, though. Word, it's kids as growing kids. up. <laughs> that's why I was like, yo, dog, I knew this man for mad long, bro. And I'm like, dog, I just seen him acting. Yeah. Boy, now he, he in Hollywood, which I was super proud, just happy, like, damn. He used to be a up. hooper, y'all. No, y'all oh, no, know, he could ball. He used to be a baller, y'all. still hooping? Uh, man, hell no. Nah. I ain't, man, don't lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna me too, bro. I ain't, yeah, pick, right. I ain't picked up a basketball lie. in about a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been about that long for me too, man. Nah, nah. I'm just, I'm in the weights now, bro. I'm into the weights, into the Muay Thai, bro. Hey, no, that's what's you know up, what though. Ain't that wrong with See, man, I'm into, I'm into the mic pause. You know what I'm saying? I'm in here going crazy. I'm in here. I've been sitting down all day. You know what I'm saying? Now, all right, let's get in. I want to get into um real quick because I, uh, you popped up on Netflix with Kevin Hart. Let's have it up. Shout out to my nigga Kev for Round Away, which for I sure, felt like sure. that was some major. You feel me? Especially you worked with um yeah. to be able to work with Kevin that close and uh for him to trust you in that role. Cause that to me, that was a huge role to me. Right. Like I when I seen it, I was like, yo, that's big. That is major. I don't you had enough lines for me, all that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what yeah. was that like working with him? How did you even land that spot? Man, I'm telling you what, like, it's just funny how people tell you, you know, like, never meet your idols, never people to meet the people you work, you look up to because, you know, you're going to find out that they jerks, that they assholes, and you're going to be completely turned off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I ain't had that experience yet, man. Word. You know what I mean? Kevin's a real nigga, bro. Man, Like, for sure. Bro, he's another person where, I, 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 you know what I mean? I'm always, I'm a fan forever now. Yeah. Once I get on your set and you treat me the way you treat me, bro, like, we we always good. I'll never say a bad word about you. Kev, <laughs> bro, is like the most personal dude in the world man Word. he talked to you like talk to the next guy like he'll talk to the director like everybody's cool yeah for sure you know what i mean and like he's super free on set let me tell you what man we was at the table read bro and tell and when you had a table read like you know you on your p's and q's you're like man i gotta really get this right i gotta do my yeah, thing for yeah, real. Yeah, for man, sure, for sure. yeah late as hell he'll have his he'll have his kid in his in his arm and whatnot <laughs> the kid be like hey dad dad blah 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 he'd be like i'm like i'm like hold on hold on everybody hold on hold on hey hey yo it was like, grab this little nigga. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And then come back. Like, it's right. nothing. We just right. over here like, damn, that's the boss, bro. Like, you got to be, you got to have boss cachet to be able to do something like for that. Sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. He'd be on the set. He'd be like, like hey, y'all niggas over there dragging dick. Yo, what? <laughs> hey, yo, Kevin there wilding. Chill, Kevin there wilding like a motherfucker. So did, it was a party, did you right? have Did you have the audition for that? Yeah. Okay. Like five times. Okay. Five mm -hmm. times? Like five times. Sheesh. Straight up, yo. Sheesh. And that's the thing with these roles, man. It's so stressful, bro, because like you'll come in and and uh, you'll audition one time, which is already nerve wracking enough. Then they'll call you back again, maybe for a different role or something like that. Then you got to do that again. Then they'll have like, uh, yeah, they call me back for like three different roles. Then they have me audition for this role like twice within itself, bro. It was ridiculous, man. The process Dang. literally took like a month just to land the role. And then not only that, but it was during the COVID time, right? Yeah. So like literally right before I was supposed, cause I was supposed to move from LA at that point to Texas. Mm -hmm. um, and I was supposed to do the role in LA and um, COVID, uh, somebody caught COVID or whatnot. And they moved the whole, the whole shoot to like a month later, bro. So like I had to, I had to come out from, from uh, Texas to do that joint. Man. And when y'all shot that you in know, LA? Just because of yeah, we shot it in L.A. Okay. Yeah, it was, and it's crazy too because it, like the the studio I was in, I was supposed to be a Philly. Uh, that's what radio that's what I was about to get into. I'm like, to I'm sure. Like, it, it, it was in. LA. Did you try to throw? Did you try to throw that in there? Like, look, man, I'm from out. You know what I'm saying? We from out there. You feel me? Like, this, that's what I. Right I mean, now. I know Philly radio, Pi ninety nine, yep. all that. Like, we know what's going on. Shout out to Cosmic Kev. Exactly. And Kev looked at me. Was like. You look like it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, like I know what's going on. You feel me? Like that was it. I felt it's like that. Why, that's why it was good for you. That's why I was like, when I seen it, I was like, dude, this is really went crazy. Like, so even in that in that moment, right when you and Kev was having that back and forth, because I'm sure y'all went over the lines a million times. What was that like? Just even in that moment, like I know you said you catch yourself staring at these people, but you know, but yeah. in that moment, like going back and forth, what was that like for you? 
and just in that moment, was it surreal? Was it like, damn, dog, this Kev, like he on fire right now. This shit is crazy. You know, that's exactly what happened, man. It's crazy, bro, because like, so before you do it, you, you go into a, uh, like a her- rehearsal, right? Mm-hmm. And first of all, like I said, it was during COVID. So it was a whole bunch of different procedures that like I wasn't even used to. They had like, they had us do the special like mouthwash before we went in there. You know what I mean? You got the visors on and all types of stuff, you know, like the crazy protocols, right? So you got to go through all of that in the first place. Kind of make you uncomfortable. COVID was crazy. So then you get there and it's it's me, the director, and it's Kevin Hart. And it it just shocks you, yo. Yeah. Like, I ain't even going to lie to you. Like, you seeing this person like, damn, yo, I ain't. You know what I mean? Like, this is Kevin. Yeah. So we started acting and whatnot. And it's funny, like, yo, I'm over here doing the rehearsal and shit, and I'm nervous. So I, I, I actually read the wrong line. I start reading his lines. He's like, you don't know this? Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Stuff together, right? He's like, I'm <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. So, but it was, it was crazy, though, because so then, um, you know, we take a break after that. I go back to my trailer. I'm like, all right, nigga, come on, man. Get yeah, get it. Together. Get, you know come on. Let's get, get it. Together. Right, right. So then I got my mind right. I got my Rocky on. I was like, yo, I ain't, I ain't about to fall twice. You feel me? Now I'm ready to fight. Yeah, you know? word. And that's yeah. all I needed, bro. I need, I need the AI to cross me over Yeah, one time. One time. That's mad. it. That's yeah. all I need. You know what I'm saying? What's up? You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So then we went in there, man, and, and it was go time at that point. And, yo, this is what really impresses me about Kev because Kev carried the whole joint, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, Kev is not really off book like that. You know what I mean? Like a person like me coming in, I know my words line for line because like I that's that's my piece of it. Yeah. Him, he got the whole shit. Yeah. So he's gotta like he's picking up some as he goes because he's not learning the whole shit right there. I'll tell you what, man, that man's memory is impeccable, dog. He was like, All right, cool. What are my key points? My key points, all right, I'm gonna do 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 and I could see him learning it right mm. there. Mm. Like he was literally learning the scene as we was doing it. He was like, All right, let's do it again, let's do it again. All right, all right, yep, yep, yep. Boom, 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 sure. boom, boom, boom. All right, cool, got it. And then we just went after it, bro. And he was on. Crazy, on point, man. Bro. I was like, damn, this nigga. I was like, man, got, this is got fire, thing bro. After that long, he probably just the master just the within, not only just the line, oh, but did. that improv and just being able to just live live exactly. out the scene. Like Now, you being, a, like, exactly. you being a new talent in that situation, do you have the space to improv at that time? Or you just really just try to be like, all right, let me just oh, stick to what I'm doing? I was throwing a new joke at him every time, dog. For sure. That's how you got it. Yeah, I was trying to throw a line at him every time. They just used, I forgot which one they used. I hadn't watched it in a minute. But um, yeah, that line at the end was mine, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? My little dude, yeah, well, I forgot what I said. But um, yeah, I was trying to throw a different joke at the dude every time. And it was cool, though, because like it was a situation where, like, the like you know how sometimes you don't want to step into the ring with a comedian when it comes to jokes like yeah he gonna fire off one yeah right? yeah yeah but like sure. when it comes to this thing he's supposed to kind of be like taking it so he can't necessarily fire back like that so everything i could throw at him like he had to just sit there and take it because that wasn't his yeah role. that wasn't his right, spot right, right. it was a very serious role for kev <laughs> like that was like that was I tell yeah, you, that, exactly. that was one of the most serious roles i've seen him in you feel me where it wasn't a lot of jokes it was more so him in a situation, you know what I'm saying? So that was fire, man. You dig, like, like I said, that was that was major That's, for me when I seen it. And what's crazy about that too is like we didn't know Wesley Snipes was gonna be a part of it to the last minute. Were you able? Were like, you able? Were you able, to, were you able to meet him at that time? So no, I didn't meet him, but we did the table read with him, and it was so crazy though because like I didn't know who he was and during the table read because like it was dark in his house. Yo, right? <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> Hey, brother, <laughs> we just jokes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you, hey, Wesley, man, you dark. Wesley, you dark. You dark what's my brother? It happens that way. <laughs> Yo, it was pitch black in the house, so you know you couldn't see Wesley in that joint, man. That's and amazing. Wesley was taking all the time he wanted, dog. Like, it was so crazy. Like, everybody was trying to be like on point, everybody trying to be there. Wesley was like, man, y'all niggas can wait, bro. I'm gonna say my line how I want to say it. Word, like, but that's but that's the veteran. He a yeah, vet. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So you know he kind of earned that. He got cachet to do that. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I was sitting there like, yo, who is this? Like, yo, yo, I couldn't who see is him. This and it didn't have I was like, who is this? Then I realized it's Wesley's like, oh shit. And then it started, I started putting it together. It was like, yo, the way he prepares is crazy though. Okay. Like he's literally preparing during the table read. He's trying stuff out. Like he's being slow with it. 
because he's really thinking about it. Like, this is like, you know how they got, you got some players, right? They've been in the game for so long, like, that they practicing during the game. They're not even really practicing during practice. They don't come practice. Yeah, we're right, right, practice. Right, right. practice you know what I'm saying? We talking about the game. Word, for sure. You feel me? And, and that was Wesley, bro. Like, you could just tell, like, you know, he not he not taking them lines home with him, dog. He learning that shit right there. Man. Dog. Now, even uh, now, even though he 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 might learn it right there now, have you ran into anybody who just doesn't seem to break character? You know, it's like that one person. You be like, yo, this motherfucker just don't quit. Like, some people might be trolling and doing it for fun, but just on set and just don't stop. Nah, I ain't never met nobody like that, man. Like, I don't want <laughs> You will, though. Like you that. will. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah, I was about to say those the I was about to say those the crazy ones that do that. Yeah, yo, he said cut. Yo, yeah, yeah, he said cut. cut. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, like you, 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 motherfucking, like you know, I mean, Franco Darko when he say action, nigga, you, you, Fred when he say cut. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, bro. Relax. <laughs> That's funny bro. you said Fred because right. it's some comedian, but he they don't do like Hollywood productions or nothing. But it's a comedian. He be on YouTube. But they say he don't when 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 uh when Rico play forehead, yeah. He said that he don't break character the whole day. He walk around and punch everybody the whole like they said yeah. the cameras be off and everything. That's my boy, yeah. He play Shout forehead the whole day and punching on everybody, yeah, trying to take their food and everything. They like oh, the camera's right. off, yo. yeah. Yeah, shout but out he, to Rico. But he's a point. comedian, so it's a little funny, so it's not as like yeah, crazy. He be yeah, he's you know just what being saying? funny. Rico being his back for sure. <laughs> nah, but all right, so let me get into this. Um I said, let me get into this. You know what I mean, I forgot what the fuck I was about to get into. I'm not going to even lie. Okay, all right. Now you've been you've been in Hollywood. How long you been moving around in Hollywood now? Probably what over ten years now. I, yeah, I say since like 2011, man. That's when I first I did my first joint, Alaska Land, in 2011. That's my introduction to the game. Now, what what was some like some of the hurdles that you've been through as far as in this game? You feel what I'm saying like what was like some things that you've been through that just was like damn, like kind of made you almost deterred you from Hollywood a little bit and just was like, yo, dog, I ain't, I ain't fucking with it, dog. Or it just got too much for you. Like, then you know what? This shit is a lot, you dig? Like, this, the work is too much, all that. Is there ever a point where you got to that point? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. That's why I picked up a pen. For sure. You know, so I could control it on my own. Because that's just the Hollywood game, bro. This game is, is crazy. It's wicked, man. Yeah. You think you think the people that, like, that are looking out for you is, you know, if everybody tell you it's all love, all this other yeah. type of stuff, you got to realize, man, you got to guard your heart. You just got to, you got to uh, taper your expectations when it comes to, you know, love and what people will do for you and all that type of stuff. Everybody promises this, that, and the third. Oh, we're going to put you in here. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to look out. And they don't, you know, yeah. and you got to, you got to just stand that off top that believe none of what they say and half of what you see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you just really got to walk about that in this game and, and understand that, People act like they don't need you. You know what I mean? You be that you be that hotness one second, everybody wanna talk to you, everybody wanna this, that, and third, blah, blah, blah. Then, you know, you ain't had something going on for a little while. And then people act like they they don't forgot about you, mm -hmm. right? Or, you know what I mean? Somebody, people you was cool with, you know what I mean? All of a sudden they get a show, they unfollowing everybody on their yeah, list, right? For they sure. big bad and everything. Yeah. And they back to normal, and all of a sudden now everybody wanna be friends again. Yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Sure. Like you gotta you gotta understand that part of the game on a social level. <clears throat> you gotta understand the game when it comes to just people trying to get things made, the cachet of everything. Like you may be the, you might be the best actor in the room. You might be the best performer, but they may not pick you. Why? Because that person got an audience that's bigger than the audience you could bring. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you got to take the back seat. You know what I mean? Like you got to play the game. I look humbly. Yeah, humbly. I'm a killer, dog. I'm a fucking killer. Kill me. Like, hey, nigga. I go for broke and I'll be out here stealing scenes. I'll be out here stealing movies. I'll be stealing shit. Right? Nah, for you know sure. Nah, for sure. And But at the end of the day, even though I'm out here killing, <clears throat> I understand that there's people who got that cachet that are going to get picked over me. And it just is what it is. So me, I say to myself, like, hey, I got to I gotta add more to the table. I got to add more to the game. I got to be able to move and shake in a different way, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why I started act. I mean, that's why I started writing. That's why I started producing so that I could just have more control make it for, feel more like business okay. than just me trying to raise my hand to get a part yeah, every get time a part. I'm auditioning. Yo, pick Yeah, yo, yeah, pick yeah, me, pick yeah, me, yeah. Pick I'm me. sure that gets stressful, you know I mean? man. That gets it's stressful. Man, bro, especially when you got to pay the bills from it. Yeah, you feel me? word, word. You know what I mean? Word. I don't, I don't got to raise nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm out here making stuff. Yeah, for sure. Business and, and, and through, through entertainment. So I got to eat. I got to make this shit happen. You got to kill so, it. So, you know, when it comes to all of that, bro, you got to secure your bag through multiple avenues mm. of making it happen yeah. 
and you can't really be worried about the love you get from other people, what they're going to say, what they're not going to say. Like at this particular point, I'm Teflon, bro. I really don't care what nobody say. I really don't care how anybody, you know, feels or anything like that. Mm. I'm going to do me. Yeah, for sure. And I'm going to do my best at everything that I can. But if somebody's shitting on anything that I got going on, this is what it yeah. is, bro. That, I mean, yeah, you know, because at that point, you just start taking it personal, which is yeah. the worst thing to do. Yeah. Or, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And like, ain't nothing personal, dog. I learned that from the four agreements. For sure. Hey, <laughs> hey, for sure. No bullshit. All right. So shit, let's get, let's get into that then. All right. We did. Let's get in the boomerang. Yeah. Boomerang. Yeah, yeah. That was another role. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And you had, they played, yeah, you played a yeah. different role in that role. You had, you were a sexually <laughs> fluid person in that. You feel what I'm saying? You see how I, see how I know how to shake, you know what I'm saying, around that? I'm good with that. <laughs> it's a good segue. Yeah, for sure. Segue. Super smooth. Yeah, saying. for sure. Good segue for that. It was a good segue for me. What was that like yeah. for you to do that role? as a sexually fluid man in that role, which they didn't make you go over the top. Shout out to Lena Rich. You didn't, you didn't go nah. crazy. You didn't go over the top, but they, it was like, yeah. like a lot of innuendos and insinuated that we knew that you played exactly. sexually, you were a sexually fluid person. What was that like doing right, that? Right, right. Was that, I mean, that was something I'm sure different for you left field. What was it like playing that role for you in, in, in that moment and at that time? I remember, man, I remember when I first, when I first booked that role, dog, and I remember being like, oh, holy shit. shit. There it goes. It's time. <laughs> it's like, time. <laughs> it really was, it's time. People really <laughs> think I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's the first like, thing I'm people really, going to insinuate I'm... shit. Mm -hmm. That was the first, that was, that was the time in my life where I really had to divorce myself from everybody's opinion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I looked at an opportunity. First of all, them, them, them dollar signs that they put behind the checks. It's crazy. Like, nigga. Crazy. But, crazy. I remember, I remember asking, I remember asking my homies, I was like, I was like, yo. How much would you do a role like that for? How much would you do a role like that? Right, for? right, right. And right. everybody gave me these numbers, right? And the numbers was way less than what I was making. So I was like, all right, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I know cool. all of y'all niggas would do the same. For sure, for sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Front. That money was right. But like, I, I, but, um, let's let's clear this up. Let's clear that up right now too, though. Let them know. Let these people know that yeah. do not mean you done got inducted into the Illuminati. None of that. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying, nah, nigga? Nah, that don't nah, mean none of that nah, shit. You nah, feel what I'm saying? Nah, it was just a rule. Nah, dog. I ain't had to sacrifice nothing. Word, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for, sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, 100%, good, 100%. Bro. Yeah, shit, honestly, man, I wish they was inducting niggas into the Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no yeah, you, shit, you, you, yeah you, you really had that 94 million, like, that said on that website. Word, no bullshit. They said, my man, we're 94 Hey, look, that said on the website, this is, what is this, brandmentions.com. And mind you, I ain't look up your net worth or nothing like no little trick on a date. Word, I, I, word. I, I was just looking on the website for the resume, bro. I'm gonna send you the link. This is hilarious. It's right? crazy. So I'm just going through it, and it just says net worth ninety four million. I was like, God damn, he got, <laughs> he got cash out for something. At the end of this you know joint, you got okay. something at so the end now, of this right, joint. But doing that, you worked with a lot of heavy hitters in, on Boomerang. And I, I remember just the, the hype behind the show Boomerang. And it was a lot of hype behind it and the way they did it. Do you, do you, I mean, of course, us growing up seeing Boomerang and watching Boomerang and knowing how that movie was, were you pleased with how it was shot? Were you happy with the way everything went? Um, I was happy for the opportunity, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like I feel like we did some solid work, but I feel like if I'm honest with you, it put too much pressure on the show with the boomerang tag because mm. like the the show, the way that it flowed didn't necessarily follow the movie. Though. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it had elements of the movie, but I know what people were really expecting. They were expecting to see a Marcus Graham simu Marcus Graham simulation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we got they, they switched it around, but see. I feel like too that was just the type of time that the network was on at that particular moment. Like if you know anything about the audience of that network, they're catering towards their specific mm -hmm. audience. This all sure. comes down to business at the end of the day. People can be disappointed and say, "Yo, it didn't follow after Boomerang. It wasn't like the original Boomerang." Blah, blah, blah. And I understand that completely, being a huge Boomerang fan myself. But I understand what was being, what was happening, yeah. what they were going for when it came to the dynamic of the audience that they were trying to reach. Mm -hmm. They were trying to reach their target audience at BET, okay, and um, so that's what they were shooting for when it came to that. So they switched up, you know, the story a little bit, but ultimately, I was happy with how everything went because um, just the life experience itself, man. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying what I who I got to meet, who I got to uh, work with, you know what I mean, all that good stuff, and um, you know, I'm never not proud of anything I do. Man. Yeah, for sure, for you sure, know, for sure. It's all up. What was it like working with yeah. Lena? 
Lena Waithe. Shout out to Lena Scraper for Lena Waithe, man. Major. Yeah, yeah. What was it like working with Lena? Lena's, man? Another Lena's another person, man, that I got I got super huge love for, it, man. Mm -hmm. Another person that I'll never say a bad word about. Like for sure. I've, I've had great experiences with these people that I've worked with. Like, Lena will connect you. Lena's the type of person, yo, she'll really look out. Yeah. That's her That's her thing. That's what's up. You know what I mean? If you're close to her and you know her like that, like, she'll put you in contact with people that'll help you win and help you eat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And people like that are invaluable, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, when people, like, say they're going to do something and really do it, mm -hmm. that's the type of person that Lena is. You know what I mean? Like, you'll have people that will promise you the world. And then don't come through on it. Lena will be like, yo, I got you. Even if it'll take her take her years later to actually find a spot for you, like amongst what she's doing, she still got you. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I definitely plan to work with Lena throughout the rest of my life. Man, that's what's up, man. I'm, I'm glad you're holding on to these relationships, too, because that's key. And they definitely say that in Hollywood, man. It's important to hold on to these relationships, man. And for you to be in this got game for 10 years, there's some people that has been in this for 20, 30 and haven't built the relationships that you built, man. So let's just clap it up for that, man. You working hard out here. Yes, sir. And doing everything you're supposed to do sure. and moving around um, um this industry the way you're supposed to move around this industry. You feel what I'm saying? That you thing. dig? And I want to go, let's let's get, let's, I don't want to get too much off track because you know why we're here. We're here for sworn justice, taken before Christmas. Yes, sir. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. Sworn justice. Out tomorrow. Taken, come out. Matter of fact, we're going to say tonight because this is going to drop, this is going to drop today. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So tonight, tonight. sworn justice today, yeah, right now, Plus. right now on BET Plus, right oh, now before and Christmas. It's, it's not crazy. a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas. A Christmas, it's a Christmas movie, movie to me. Yeah, you feel me? I'm getting into I it. We got to add it to the list. I, I was about to say, I literally just went above. over a whole list of Christmas films on another episode recently, and everybody was like, "Yeah, I need to check that out." People was giving me suggestions. They were telling me about the movie Violent Night because that's that's a word, horror movie, word, but word. it's a Christmas movie. For sure. But it's like, so I'm like, "Yeah, we need more." I don't. I'm sick of fucking family Christmas yeah, movies. Like, and shit. Yes, we want action movies. Yeah. I want raunchy comedy. I want crazy right. horror Christmas movies. Like now we get to mix it have up. Have you done? You, have you done horror yet? Horror? Uh, no, I ain't did a horror yet. You I'm like you can fuck with the horror. I ain't gonna lie. Like when you get to the horror oh. shit, that's gonna get crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little Hell Saw yeah, Three man. action. You feel what I'm saying? I can see it. You know what I'm saying? Straight yeah, straight straight up. Not Saw nah, Three. Man, How many? What, what Saw we on? I don't. They they will be on five if they, Nigga, they on another like one. Saw I think. Yeah, thirty. I think. I, no, they on ten. I just saw ten like two weeks ago. No, that's they crazy. It's it's ten. We late as shit. We like yo Saw Three. Promise, you. I promise. Yeah, you, you said yeah. three, I said four. No, 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 no. I said, <laughs> yo, what's up? All right, let's let's get in. Let's get in. You you watching sports? You still watching basketball right now? Hell yeah, man. What's up? What's up know, with your man, man Draymond? Man, you seen that shit yesterday? Yo, yeah, Draymond. Hey, yo, yo, yo Draymond. Yo, <laughs> he getting me mad. Hey, yo, I need that nigga to fight with me. Yo, no <laughs> bullshit. Yo, yo, like, he getting me mad that. though. Cause I'm like, I'm bro, why it. you keep doing all this nonsense? Y'all know I'm like, here damn, for it. Just play the game, but bro. But now, now they saw a track record. They said he's been getting ejected every game that Steph ain't been playing. So he getting sassy. Yeah, with oh, he getting ejected on purpose. Uh, he getting yeah, mad I and smack and smack on niggas. Yeah, he was tweaking. You know, Rudy Gobert put that out there too. Yeah, he yeah he posted. I believe that's true. You feel me? And sometimes Rudy Gobert do deserve. To get put I in was gonna say they got they you know got they got a, they got a whole collage of Rudy Gobert about to fight somebody grabbing somebody and it's like eight photos yeah Rudy and then, be tweaking and, and then the last yeah. photo is Draymond looking like with the meme mug like yo like I got <laughs> something like yo, I can't <laughs> wait wait till I'm running to him like all right it's all awesome. Draymond would make like, me mad you. dog he be I feel like he be, yo, he be picking shoes and I don't like he it. almost let me win a parlay last night because I had him scoring under, a lot of parlays I had him scoring under eleven points I had him scoring under eleven so he got ejected so fast he was. I automatically passed that See? one. I said, all right, Draymond, I let's go. I ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't even I bet on them yesterday. I wasn't even messing with it, man. You know, I already know. <laughs> but all right, so what's, what you got coming up, Lee? What's going on, man? What's next? What's next for you, man? What's in the future? We in the fourth quarter. We getting ready for the new year. Yes, what's sir. 2024 looking like yes, for you, man? 2024, man, we got Twisted Hearts coming out, bro. I got another movie in the can, dog. Okay. With my production company out here in Texas, uh, Twisted Hearts. You know what I'm saying? With me and uh, Jay Reeves, Adrian Lockett, Emelina Adams, man. Mm, we got, mm. it's, it's dope. It's a, it's a rom-com. Okay. You know, couples in therapy. It's, it's, it's dope. So, so you super, think it's, you dope, think it's going to hit around a Valentine's? Um, I, we shooting for we shooting for the top of the year. Okay, that's what top I think, of the year. I think we're going for it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's definitely, sure. um, you know, that time, of, that time of the year that we shooting for because uh, Valentine's Day is like, it's perfect for couples. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, man, like I said, bro, I literally just finished the uh, finished writing a, a feature, dude. 
So we trying to move into that independent way, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's we it. Got one in the can, man, man, listen, ain't nothing wrong with having one in the can. That's how it's supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? No, not at all. Yeah, Yo, when, when one drop, one so should be man, able listen. to be ready to drop within a one, few exactly, months exactly. later. And we got a like we that. got a major one coming out today. You already know Swan Justice taking before Christmas on BET right. Plus right now. You know what's going on? Shout out to BET, shout out to Leland B. Martin. Yo, man, listen, I yes, want to thank sir. you for joining us, my brother. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, this was amazing. This is new for us. We don't even be the, we don't do the online, but I had to get my dog going. He got a show coming out, and we got to make sure we pro. Sure. We got yeah, that we shit. Had to like drop we, we had to drop something for him. You feel what I'm saying? And make sure that we put the promo out there, and everybody from around the way, everybody that pay attention. Yo, listen, Willem, bro, pay attention real quick, man. This is what you can do. This is something legend is different. This is it's something that you can man. be. You feel what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people don't see. You know, they a lot of people don't like repping where they from, right? You feel what I'm saying? And I always where we from because i'm like oh y'all be surprised to, like especially the younger generation they don't know how much shit come out of here right you know right. what i'm saying and you know oh, we want to start oh. opening up them gates and opening up them avenues for people to see what happens out of here and what type of talent come yeah, out of here. And yeah. they gotta see they gotta um, see these people hey, leading by man. example man for sure no doubt but let me say this too man like yo y'all been doing y'all thing for a minute man for sure <clears throat> following the front line bosses for the hey. Yeah, y'all been out here flowing. Y'all been out here doing y'all thing on the scene thank you. for the longest. Bro. Thank you, good brother. And man, to see y'all continuing to do what you do is 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 beautiful. For sure, it's man. Beautiful. It's all love, man. And like I said, I'm on the production side of things, man. I can see us working together. Oh, we will, you know we will, we will. Future and all of that. Hey, man, man listen, we going to the top, baby. You already know, dog. We gonna be. You know I mean, already you know. already know. We throwing these. We going parties in Hollywood and everything. Even though we saying no more parties in L.A., we going <laughs> back. We going to go tee up. <laughs> You know what Yo, yeah. I, I, I got to get back in my acting bag. It's been some, uh, man, my resume been dry. Yeah, he's been in his acting bag. You feel me? Rather been it's going crazy like with the acting. Word. You feel me? So, it's been last like time a couple movie. years. Like a couple years. A couple years. A couple years. Man, we going to get you, man. We going we gonna to get back I said in, they trying to blackball me, They trying to blackball my boy. You know what I'm saying? They trying to blackball They trying to blackball it. You know what I'm saying? I already know what's going on. I try to tell you, like, yo, dog, don't fall for it. Don't go for it. You dig? Right? They like, yo, nah, we can't let him in. We can't let this boy. You yeah, feel they don't me? want to let me in. I be doing doing nah, and saying too much. Yeah, yeah, man. They be saying he be doing too much, man. But you already know, man. Let's get into this, man. Hey, Lila, I want to thank you for coming out, bro. One more time. Yeah, for sure, you feel for me? Sure. Wow. Listen. Yeah. Listen, real quick, man. I want to thank y'all, man. We got my dog Leland B. Martin in the building. Hey. You did. We going crazy. It's yes, a beautiful sir. thing. You did. Thank you all for coming Thank out to the Thank you all for coming out club, to the baby. Comic Club. You know what's happening, broke niggas. Thank you, me. Thank brother. He let you in the back room. And we gave y'all more jewels this time. We gave y'all a lot more jewels this time, you did. Start writing. Start filming. For get sure. You, get you some headshots. Yeah, do everything you're supposed to do. Find you an agent. Word. Something. Something. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can get the ball rolling. Rich niggas. Hey, listen, man, make sure you download yo, BT Plus. Download BT Plus tonight. Yes, sir. Sworn yes. Justice, yes. taking before Christmas out right now. Listen, hey. make sure y'all invest in rich niggas. Make sure y'all throw it back to my nigga Leland, man. He could turn that shit around. You yeah, hear me? for sure, for sure, for sure. He can, he can make yes, it, sir. he can make it flip. You feel what I'm saying? You don't understand. You <laughs> feel me? Hit my nigga with a couple money, them, with them rack games, with them M's. You feel what I'm saying? He can turn that shit to a couple yes, B's. Yeah, he, he, yeah, I mean 94 million and up. Uh, 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 <laughs> you did. Hey yo, man, I want to thank y'all for coming out, man. And we is out of here. Holla. Much love. Pray for your loved ones like a spider web like a... all the way around. From the aunties to the uncles to the Popeyes to the nanas to the children to the cousins to the nieces to the nephews, baby. We out. Sammy Sosa.